Good afternoon, everybody. This is Brian Shealy with Kinetic Data, and uh, thanks for joining. We have uh, a few people on the line here, so we're going to get going. Uh, hopefully, we'll make this available for download and view from our website afterwards, so you can forward to your peers or rewatch it. So a little bit about Kinetic Data for those of you that don't know us. We were founded in 1998. We're based in St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, we have roughly 250 customers worldwide. Uh, most of our customers are uh, large Fortune 1000 type companies. Uh, we started in the BMC Remedy space. and We've been a technology alliance partner since 1999. Uh, we have gotten into focusing on providing business-oriented solutions. Um, primarily, we were aligned to enterprise request management, service automation, and customer self-help as our main strategies, and we're solution-focused. Uh, here's a slight overview of our products. So we have Kinetic Request, which is an enterprise request management portal system. Uh, the Kinetic Task Engine, which is an enterprise orchestration and business process automation engine. Kinetic Calendar, which is what we're going to focus on today, which is designed for uh, actionable online calendars for business use. Kinetic Schedule, which is an intelligent resource scheduling system. And Kinetic Survey, which is a process-driven survey management system for Remedy. Uh, here's a diagram outlining enterprise request management. It may be a term some of you haven't heard before, but what it is is it's a strategy that allows you to have a single point of entry for enterprise and organizational services for your customers. So whether your customers are internal, external, or otherwise, maybe a combination thereof, um, giving people a single point of entry to find whatever service it is that they want and visibility into those service uh, needs. So... Um, some of the benefits are obviously a centralized approach to the delivery of services, so that single point of entry, in other words, people don't have to search around to find whether it's an HR service or an IT service or otherwise. Uh, you end up, if you use an automated strategy on the back end uh, of whatever your portal strategy is, you reduce the cost of delivering services through that automation, elimination of manual steps, also um, reduces the risk. So. Things like eliminating human error uh, for duplicate data entry to multiple systems, and then also the visibility into key processes, which is what we're focused on today with the calendar solution that we have tied into that enterprise request management strategy. Um, so improved visibility and control over processes, a better user experience, and therefore you, you not only lower the cost of delivering the service, but you eliminate uh, potential needs for training and make it easier for users to get what they need. So today we're talking about Kinetic Calendar. And the whole focus today is providing visibility into the change management process. Uh, the system was designed to show any time-based data in a web-based calendar type format. We can basically pull data um, from any system that has the ability to be connected to. So whether it's Remedy Change Management or HP or PeopleSoft or SharePoint or Lotus Notes or whatever, uh, we have adapters uh, that can go get data from. Um, external systems and bring them into the kinetic calendar system. And the idea is display um, events that are relevant to your business need, pulling from the relevant applications. So you may have a change management process where the change management information is coming, for example, from Remedy, but maybe your vacation schedule data is coming from SharePoint or from Exchange, and you wanted to look at that stuff uh, in one calendar view in real time to see uh, areas for scheduling people to make sure you're maximizing your ability to deliver the change. So here is a screenshot of the Kinetic Calendar product. I see a couple people on the webinar that own the product, but this gives you an idea. It's laid out in a very intuitive, easy to understand interface. Um, I'm going to get to a live demo in just a moment, but basically again it can take whatever data you have and make it actionable. So we have the ability to filter by whatever events you have your data set up against. So a couple of reasons for using our product, or quite frankly, any calendar product. These would be good things to have in whatever you were to use. But um, actionable online calendars, the whole idea is real-time visibility into your key processes. So um, the idea is for it to be quick and easy. So a lot of people have reporting strategies, but the issue with reporting related to change management is the minute you run the report, your data is out of date. So um, by having tight integration into your IT service management system and pulling that data in real time, you can sit in a change advisory board meeting and understand uh, 
collisions that may may be scheduled to happen and avoid those. So it's a proactive approach to change management improvement. Um, again, it's a very flexible system. It's very quick to deploy. Uh, the product installs very quickly. Um, we actually, at the end of this, I can show you guys a demo that we have online where in essentially less than, I think, five minutes it's installed on the video. Um, so it's a very fast way to integrate calendar functionality into key applications. Here's a couple of different use cases. So change management, release management, outage calendars, on call. Um, we have a number of people using it for facility scheduling, vacation calendaring. Uh, I hear, have here service level agreement monitoring, and we actually have a customer that does uh, broadcast and critical outages uh, related to their service levels. Um, so it pulls the data in real time and allows managers to see for example, incidents that are over the service level breach um, and they need to be reprioritized to a high priority to be resolved. So here's contact information uh, for the Kinetic team. Super easy, sales at kineticdata.com. You can call our support phone number 651-556-1020 and uh, be directed to the right person. And then um, I'm going to point out Kinetic Community, which is a place for technical and um, solution documentation. We publish about everything out there. Um, so feel free to go to that site and uh, explore around and, and see if you find anything that um, is informative to you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, share out my desktop and do a live demo of the Kinetic Calendar. So. What I'm doing here is I'm just going to the site demo.kineticdata.com, which is a public demo site that we have, and anybody can go there. And we have all of our solutions out here for you to play around with, uh, survey, schedule, calendar, which we're going to do today, and Kinetic Request. Um, I'm just going to click on this thumbnail. I've actually already clicked on it, but basically if you click on this thumbnail, it will open a sample schedule change calendar. In this particular case, all of this demo data comes directly from a sample change system built in BMC's Remedy product. So the data comes directly from my ITSM platform, um, which happens to be uh, Remedy. And we have month view, week view, day view, and I can look at things in a list format as well. So when you get into having a massive amount of changes in an organization, like most, most Fortune 1000 companies may, in this particular case I have 150 in a month, but many customers have that many in a day. Um, you want to be able to segment the data set and make it relevant for your particular business need. So that's what this product is designed for. So I can go forwards and backwards to months and look at, uh, you know, if I want to go back and look at historical change data, I could have a calendar set up to do that. Um, that's a pretty frequent use. Um, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a um, sample use case, which would be, I'm looking at all of my forward schedule of uh, change information, and let's just say that I wanted to only look at uh, network information. By clicking here in our uh, filter set, I can subset the data, so now out of everything that I'm looking at, all my forward schedule changes, I'm just looking at network. And let's just say I also wanted to look at database information. So for this particular month, November 2012, I have 33 changes related to uh, the network and the database. And then from here I'd like to drill into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click show filters. So I have category, network, and database, and I want to filter here by, for example, risk. And if I just wanted to look at my critical risk items, there they are, and then let's go one step further and look at them by a particular group. So I want to look at just my network and admin group changes, and there they are. And everything is color-coded, so I can see that in this particular case, based on the filters I've opened up, category, network, database, risk equals critical, to assigned to the network and admin group, I don't have the risk for collision based on that set of data. So that's one particular use case. Now, all the data that is displayed in the calendar, um, and this is all configurable, but it comes from the system of records. So in this particular case, it's coming from Remedy. So all of these fields and all this can be configured to show whatever you want, but in this particular case, all of the related info is coming from a remedy form. So request ID, category, type, item, etc. So I can click on any of these things and see the data uh, that is involved in that particular change. 
So another example could be where I want to look at a different set of data related to my change process. So I'm going to go to back to the demo world and we have another thumbnail here um, for asset information. So this is going to pull data from again Remedy but from the asset system in Remedy. So I click here, I open this up and for the purposes of the demo so I have more data, I've gone back to July 2012 where I have a, a, quite a bit of data in here. But basically I can see these different events that are scheduled to happen. Um, so, but what I want to do in my particular case, let's just say that I want to understand all of the retirements for a particular vendor uh, for a particular month related to my groups and um, so I can maximize the scheduling of, for example, dispatching somebody to a um, data center to take servers out of a rack. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at, um, I want to look at it by asset type. And so what I'm going to do is select all of my sun assets for the month and then I want to drill into it and I want to look at um, by my owning group and let's just say I only want to see my network group assets and then from there I'd like to understand what my retirements are so I have three for the month so by subsetting the data related to the asset records in my system I can see that I have three retirements for sun assets for the network group for the month I can pull the data, I can see what serial numbers they are, et cetera, or whatever's relevant in this particular case. And then I could say, well, if we're going to send somebody out to uh, dispatch somebody to go to a particular data center in Tempe, Arizona, what I want to do is reschedule this change and this change maybe for this particular date here or whatever. Uh, so I send one resource to do three changes at one time, creating an efficiency in the process. So again, to recap, the Kinetic Calendar product is designed uh, to give you visibility into uh, whatever processes related to your business are relevant. And uh, you can basically set it up against any data source. So in this particular case, um, I've gone over some change management examples. And at this time, we can open it up to questions and answers.